Hey, good people, Bowhead Harrison here, and welcome to my channel. Coming on to give you guys Capricorn's reading. So, if you are a Capricorn, anything, if you are dealing with a Capricorn, if you got a crush on a Capricorn, pull up, okay? Especially if you got a crush on a Capricorn, because that was the energy that I got that I'm talking to some Capricorns who may have a crush you crushing on somebody somebody may be crushing on you but it really feels like you are crushing on someone that was the energy that i got as i was meditating on your cards okay so before i get started let's go ahead and welcome the newbies okay newbies hello i hope that you do choose to stay subscribe and stay and to all my returnees my ogs mwah, thank you so much i appreciate you coming back okay so capricorn let's jump straight on in because listen I think that you got your eye on somebody. And to be honest, it wasn't a good feeling. It's almost like they're not studying you or maybe they're not good for you or it's just not a good vibrational match. But I think you can't see the forest for the trees like the old saying goes. You can't see past what you want. So, honey... I'm going to see what these cards say for y'all. Of course, you don't have to do what I say. I'm just an oracle, okay? So, if you happen to land on this message and this is your truth, this is your story, this is your actual timeline, take heed, okay? Don't, don't do what I'm telling you to do, but just take heed to what I'm saying, okay? So, before I get started, I want to welcome in the spirit of love, light, life, happiness, wholeness, harmony, completeness, Thank you, sweet spirit, for using me as a trusted and true vessel to bring about a message for the collective of Capricorn, who will soon be here to view this video. I shy. So, let's get these cards laid, Capricorn, because surely the goodness you're not wasting your time on somebody who doesn't, who won't really benefit you. I'm not going to say that they're not into you, but I feel like you may be falling harder for them than they are for you, and it's a possibility that they're going to become your temptation because they probably know, if they know that you feel this way about them, they may take it, take advantage of it. And if they don't know, then you may just be chasing your own tail, right? So, we're going to look these cards and see which aspect shows up, okay? All right, so I'm going to take the first jumpers. And if there are no jumpers, then I'll lay, you know, the first cards that are on the top and build from there. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen. I, I know my shit, y'all. I know my stuff. This is you. Daydreaming about the person. You have, you are infatuated with somebody. Capricorn okay and 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 when you think about y'all being together when you think when you think about hanging out with them when you think about having sex with them when you, whatever you've envisioned in your head about them this is how you feel la la land what did I just say you can't see the forest for the trees because you can't see past what you want and when we can't see past what we want we will begin to rendezvous with the potential of something but see the potential is not the reality okay I'm gonna keep going show me more show me clearly for Capricorn who have, who have you fallen for Capricorn because it's hard to make a cap fall baby so when a Capricorn comes down off that mountain and says I want you Come in. You you must you must be somebody special. So who is this special person, Capricorn? I'm gonna keep both of. Oh, okay. So I got. Gosh. This is funny. So we have the Knight of Wands, and the thing about it is, you you in your mind. You feel very, very, very confident, very secure that you're going to get them. Okay, but I'm, I'm gonna show you, show you all the cards before I go into the energy. But this is, this is you. You know, I feel like you're probably watching this reading, looking at the screen and saying, "Man, I got him though. I already got him. I already got her." So listen, this is not about you not being able to get them, not being able to bag them. I believe you are, but I feel like their motive. Their, in, their intention with you is not 
the same as your intention with them. Because see, you really see something in them that you want, that you like. They may just be running game because they know how much you are feeling them. So, mm. But this is the Six of Swords. And that does talk about having to leave something, for better or for worse leaving something behind because it just does not serve you leaving something because it ain't what you thought it was okay the six of swords is a card of short distance travel now so that and and, and sometimes it's a metaphoric travel sometimes it's a physical travel in this instance it feels more metaphoric meaning like not literally traveling away from the person but leaving them alone because you realize that oh you not what I thought you was. You you ain't oh, okay. So you not giving what I'm giving. Or oh, or oh, oh. cause see, I think you going into this situation possibly Capricorn, very confident, very secure. But it might be somebody that you think is out of your league, but that actually gives you more confidence to go toward it. Cause see, Capricorns are very um self-aware and very uh, self-confident and even though this person you see you may think is out of your league it still poses a very tantalizing challenge for you right because i think you're going to look into this situation as i'm gonna flip him i'm gonna flip her mind i'm gonna flip his mind i'm gonna make them the way i feel about them i'm gonna turn it around that's how they're gonna be feeling about me so it's almost like a challenge for you so you don't see this as a waste of time. You don't see it as somebody taking this energy and using it against you. But that's what's happening. But anyway, I do I do feel like something is going to take place that's going to reveal that to you. Okay? I don't know if this person's going to have a nasty attitude. They're going to say something. They're going to show you a side of them that's going to make you leave. It's going to make you move on move forward to something new something fresh um the ace of swords is here this is new meat fresh meat um this person may just be such a stalemate they may just like i said you they could reveal versions of them or side of them that makes you be like oh no i thought i liked them i don't want that i don't, know. Ooh, I don't like how they act or you just could see that they are playing so hard to get Capricorn that you're like, mm -mm. <laughs> I can go get five or six in the length of time that you think you're going to make me wait. So I think you're getting ready to cut them off for that reason alone. Like you're not going to keep making me wait. I'm up front. I'm letting you know what I want. I'm showing you up front. Even if I haven't verbally said anything, I'm giving you enough hints and hunches to let you know I want to see what's up with us, but you plan. Or... They know that you want them and they, again, are taking it for, not taking it for granted, but taking advantage of it. So, you know that they're not giving you that same energy back, but they're sticking around because they know that's how you feel about them. And a lot of times people get used that way, up sticking around because they know they can get anything out of you because they know how you feel about them, right? So Capricorn, be very careful right now if you are resonating with what I'm saying because if you are with somebody who knows that you are really, really feeling them, they may just be around strictly because you are feeding their ego. They're, you're feeding their ego. Now, like I said, some of you are going to peep this. Some of you are going to peep it and be like, next or you may have you might already have some other little possibilities and you might just decide i'd rather deal with these possibilities over here than the one who i really thought i really wanted to see what was up with strictly because of how you see them acting okay so let's talk about this fresh meat because i do believe that for some of you you already this may have been a past situation for some of y'all some of y'all might be here and this is on your this is an old timeline saying so you're like oh yeah that's how i was over such and such or, yeah i remember when i was feeling like it over such and such but i have recently met somebody else so i'm talking to those of you now who may have somebody else oh you got your eyes set on a new piece of meat and you still feel the same way but they're not giving any resistance or any pushback they're showing up and showing out the same way you are showing up and showing out so it's almost like you have met your equal okay so let's go further and i will keep that 
Mm -hmm. Judgment. So this is the judgment card has come out. Um, <clears throat> it's something about this new person that's probably going to reawaken something in you. Now listen, spirit just told me something. So hear me, hear me out. The reason that you like this fresh meat, this new person, ain't the reason that you liked the, 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 the first person. See, the first person feels like they may have mesmerized you. So they were your temptation. It was something about them. And it, and it was probably um, lustful, sexual. They, they awakened something in you that made you googly eyes over them right but this new person that 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 you may be dealing with or this new person that you got your eyes on capricorn is something about them that's soul satisfying they're going to cause some type of reawakening some type of rebirthing in you they could be very spiritual they could be into things that 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 you don't know nothing about, but it's very interesting. It's very tantalizing. It's very, it's very, um, it makes them, it's a word. Uh, it makes them, oh, not interesting. It, it, it makes them very exotic to you, whatever it is that they're in. It makes them very exotic to you. You looking at them like, oh, like maybe there's some type of mystic. Maybe they live a different type of lifestyle from anybody you've ever dated. And it's something very It ignites you. You done met somebody who, if you, I don't know if y'all are already together. I do believe that you've met them. I don't know if y'all are in a relationship, but it does feel like you've been around them enough to know that they offer an energy that's very seductive. Show me more and show me clearly. Hmm. Okay. Hermit. Capricorn, you the met a Virgo? I can see that. I can see you falling for a Virgo. I can see how a Virgo person would tantalize you, would keep you on your toes. Mm -hmm. I can see it. So another card turned out with it, which is the Eight of Wands. See, you ready? It is something about this Virgo person that's making you want to take a leap of faith in a way that you've never taken that leap before. Like you were, you were daydreaming and really ready to throw yourself out to that other person, right? But that was a feeling that you were being led by, guided by, and I believe that might have been connected to your lower rings, right? Because we do that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes some people just sometimes people just turn us on. It's just something about them that turn us on. But this new person, they're not just turning you on from a sexual standpoint. It's something very mental, something very cerebral about this person that's caught your eye. And it's to the point where you are willing to make the first move as far as saying... I like everything about you. Let's let's be exclusive. I want to just do me and you. It's like you see something in this hermit person. One thing I bet you you see is their seemingly innocent energy. Now, I'm not saying that they're not innocent. Is anybody ever innocent, right? We're here on earth. Nothing about earth is innocent. But they have a very pleasant, gentle innocent energy and you like that it's something about their energy that makes you it turns you on not in like i said not in a lustful sexual way but there there is there it, it, it creates some type of chemistry in you when you are around this person they're probably soft spoken they're very intelligent um they probably have um 
routines and regiments that they do. Maybe you're used to a wild boar, a type of person who's all over the place. Or you've dated people in the past who just didn't have any type of order or structure to their lives, right? But this person has order. They have regiments and routines. They may work out. They may take really good care of their body. They may... Uh, they may um, teach you certain things that you can begin to do. It's like it's a different type of turn on that you have with this person. You see this person as a valuable asset because they offer you something you've never had. And they're very intelligent. And that's turning you on. That's turning you on. There's a cerebral connection. Not to mention that if they are a Virgo, you're both earth signs. So there's an innate connection anyway. Now, even though Virgo is an earth sign, they're ruled by Mercury. They're very mercurial. So their ability to communicate is fascinating. Whether the communication is verbal or whether the communication is from a body language standpoint they just have the excellent ability to communicate so that may turn you on as well now they haven't fallen for your your capricorn game and it's not really game. I'm saying that for the for the lack of a better word. It's not game. Because I, I, Capricorns don't really have game. Actually, Capricorns approach you with all of their truth and you either wit it or not. <laughs> right? But there is something about your approach that does not scare this person. They're like, okay, what else? Like, what else you got? Like maybe the things that you're used to saying, used to doing your approach in the past with other people, maybe made them giggle or made them say something smart or, you know, just, you know, the, the, the game, even though it'll be us being us. Right. But when you when you when you when you use your very natural self as game. Some people will take that like, quit playing the whole time you being you. You telling them what's up, but they think it's game. Okay. Well, with this person, they're looking at your upfrontness and your very, um, it's another word. I don't know why I'm at a loss for my words tonight, but it's, 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 you're being, you're being very you and where, where, old people or people from your past would be very intrigued by that this person ain't intrigued by it and that's intriguing you Whew, okay all right show me more show me clearly see spirit for capricorn more information for capricorn the, you listen i know this person is coming into your life to um teach you some stuff because see capricorn you know even though you are an earth sign you're ruled by saturn so you can get a little you can get a little mannish you can become a little uh arrogant you can become a little um stubborn okay uh there's things within you capricorn that this person is about to change not that they're trying to change you. It's just you've met an energy that's going to make you want to level up who you are. I hope I'm making sense with what I'm saying. This person's energy is not so much going to test yours, but it's it's going to challenge you. It's going to challenge it because what used to work with these other people prior to this person ain't going to work with this person. This I, this person does like you. They do see you. They do see that you are someone worthy of investing time, energy, communication into. So they are into you and they like what they see. They like what they hear. They like everything about you so far. But it's not because of what you're doing. It's just 
you are someone they like versus maybe in the past people liked you because of what you who you are what you have what you did or how you presented yourself they fell in love with or wanted to be around that right but this person is almost like they see straight through you and they like what they see okay they like what they see even though you're not putting on an act at all but they are they're able to even see beyond what you show them even though you're showing them your realist rawest they see even beyond that this person might also be a pisces i'm feeling virgo i'm feeling pisces okay show me more show me clearly show me more show me clearly the ace of pentacles so there has been a first date there's been some connection there's been some laughter there's been a lot of flexibility i believe each of you probably have made each other come out of your comfort zone and you're doing it in a fun way it's very innocent it's very flirtatious it's very sweet it's very traditional it feels very old school it doesn't feel like game. That's what I'm saying. There's no game being ran here. You've met somebody that is very mature. They got their shit together. Mind, body, and spirit. They're very in tune with themselves. Therefore, they're able to read you. They can get in tune with you. And you feeling all of this. On a normal basis, I feel like you would have already ran back up that mountain because you don't want to be challenged. Saturn. <laughs> Saturn's children do not like to be challenged. But this feels different for you, Capricorn. This is a delicious challenge. And it's sweet. And where you are normally the one taking the lead, taking the role of the authority, this person brings some type of mushy, gushy, ooey gooey-ness out of you. And it has nothing, you may be turned on by it, but it's not because there's already been a, a lustful connection. It ain't got nothing to do with that. This person is showing you something you've never seen before. You've never had this type of person before. And they are very intriguing to you. And I must say, you may also be intriguing to them too. I don't think it's a one-way street. I believe that there are some things about you that is intriguing and chemically tantalizing to this person and vice versa and vice versa I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this person is able to get off into the crevices of your brain they're probably asking you questions that make you have to think and that they like, keep in mind, these, this person, this energy right here likes communication. They are communication. So whatever they ask you and, and they watch how you take your time and respond. And, and you like that. You like that someone is triggering your mind enough to want to talk. Because Capricorn, y'all don't always want to talk. Really, you like to lead and guide how the communication is going to go. And a lot of times, you don't really want to do a lot of mental stimulation with people. But you're doing it with this person. They got you. You're, you're mentally stimulating them, and they're mentally stimulating you. And you like this. I'm telling you, this person has come into your life to reawaken some things. Or maybe awaken them because maybe they've never even been touched. They've never been awakened. Maybe that's why you were head over heels daydreaming about this other person who really wasn't even your stilo. It was just something about them physically. This person up here that I, you know, saw earlier, the energy that I saw earlier, feels like that it was just a um, surface level attraction. 
okay? Yes, yeah, surface level attraction. But this here, I told you, it feels soulful. It feels soulful. Show me more, show me clearly for the collective of Capricorn. You're used to running away. Well, not really running, but when things don't go your way, when something doesn't tap dance by the beat of your drum, when things are not how a Capricorn wants it, you go back up on that mountain and you begin to observe and look until you find something else, right? Well, you did that. You already did that, right? You did that when you decided, I'm not fooling with this person up here because they think they're going to make me run for them and I'm not running for you. You know I like you. Come on, okay? So when you cut them off because you decided you wanted some fresh meat, okay? You went back up that mountain. You observed from afar. You know, you set your <laughs> eye on somebody. You came back down that mountain and said, what's up? Okay, you didn't scare them off, but they were not, um, they were not, uh, hey, they wasn't all of that either, right? It's almost like they met you with the same energy. You was like, what's up? And they was like, what's up? Right? It was a it y'all some energy match. It was a vibrational match. And I think that was the first light bulb that went off in your head. Like, oh okay. That her his response was different than what I'm used to. Okay. <laughs> this person uh is making you want to stay on the ground. And I keep saying up that mountain, for those of you who are not aware of what you are and who you are, you are the animal that will climb that mountain for any reason to get away from people. Uh, uh, um, you're not afraid to, you're not afraid to take a climb for any reason, okay? And a lot of times when, when Capricorn does not want to be bothered or when they feel like they're being smothered or if they feel like they're being taken for granted, they take that climb. Nothing about this person is making you want to take that climb, baby. You on the ground. You down on the ground <laughs> with the humans. <laughs> ah, with the humans. Okay, show me more. Show me clearly. Yes. Yes. Now, that's the moon card. This person is, listen, I think you may be dealing with somebody who is very, very in tune with their intuition. Somebody who is very spiritual. Listen, not to mention, did I not say Pisces? Now, the moon card represents, in, in, the moon card in the tarot represents Pisces. The moon, the moon itself uh, in the cosmos represents Cancer. Okay, but in the tarot, it represents Pisces. Now, I told you I thought Pisces energy was here. I could feel Pisces on top of that Virgo. I also felt Pisces, but I'm also going to go ahead and throw Cancer out there because I believe Virgo, Pisces, Cancer are the three energies that most definitely could make Capricorn pause in their tracks to the good or to the bad, depending on, you know, what's causing the, the pause, right? But in this instance, it is someone who is deeply intuitive. They're deeply spiritual. They communicate very well, and they are very emotionally very emotionally I'm, I'm going to say emotionally strong, not in a bad way. Don't take that like I'm saying they're going to emotionally manipulate. It's like they know how to cater to your emotions through their emotions. How they show you the emotions. They know it's almost like they know how to puppeteer your emotions by how 
beautifully they express theirs, okay? But the moon card has shown itself. I believe that you may be trying to hide how much you truly like this person. Because you don't even really understand why you like them as much as you do. Because they're so totally different than what you've ever had. This is a different person for you, Capricorn. This is a different person. And their, their sun sign may not be Cancer, Pisces, or Virgo. Their moon sign could be that. But I do believe that they have one of those three. If not all three or two of three of them. They have that in their upper part of their chart. They do. Venus, Mercury, Mars, Moon. They have one of those signs in that area. Or maybe in multiple areas. Because the, the energy of Pisces, Virgo, Cancer is potent right now. Okay? Very potent. Not to mention that this could be some of your energy as well. Which would be why you guys are connecting so well. Your you you could be definitely a Capricorn Sun, but your Moon could be Cancer. Your Pisces could be Cancer. Your Pisces could be Cancer. <laughs> your Moon could be Pisces or Cancer. Your Venus could be Pisces or Cancer. Their Venus could be Pisces or Cancer. So anyway, check your person's chart. Check your chart, and because if you're resonating with this, then nine times out of ten, there is some Cancer Pisces Virgo energy. Um in you or in your person okay show me more and show me clearly any more information for the collective of capricorn pertaining to this reading if you resonate with what i have said thus far please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already the knight of cups oh listen how you was feeling about that first person, head over heels, you've arrived. Now, your reasoning for filling it with this person and daydreaming about being with them, of course, I feel like was, as I mentioned earlier, very shallow, very on the surface. Now, it's up, up, and away because you have met somebody who makes love to this y'all may have not even been sexually active but the depth of your conversation how you feel when you are around them and vice versa what you exude that that um your aura the way they make you It's something about this person that opens you up. And I know what it is. I've already said it. The way they talk to you, the way they ask you questions, the way they they the way they align what they say to you that makes you have to think. Because keep in mind, Capricorn, you you're not a big talker and you definitely don't like a lot of questions being asked. But this person asks you questions. Questions that you are comfortable asking, questions that you want to ask answer questions that you've probably never been asked by somebody that you like right this person's trying to get to know you and i think that's what's different you've met somebody who probably knows exactly what they want so they know they know the things to say they know the things to do and they know the questions to ask to make sure you are who they want because they, I feel like this person ain't got no time to waste. And I'm not saying that you have time to waste. But see, this person is somebody different. Different than the person that you were initially crushing on. Different from anybody in your past. This person wants to get to know you. And you know that. And that's turning you on, Capricorn. They, The, the way they talk to you. The way they... It's really the way they do everything. The way they communicate with you. The way they look at you the way they smile when you say certain things you listen but you already know that you are already head over heels your eye is so directly on this person that you write back and i ain't got to put them on cause because you write back at square one 
except it's with a better person who deserves it. But you're right back feeling like this again. And this is the page of cups. And this is the night of cups. So you graduated from daydreaming about somebody who really didn't even deserve you being like that about them to daydreaming about somebody who really deserves you and you deserve them okay so it this it looked like it just it it you it's the same script just a different cast so it's almost like the universe gave you a new person wiped out that old cast you we wanted you to experience this but we wanted you to experience with somebody new because who you were about to invest that energy in was not good for you and i told you i felt that before i even laid the cards that you might be dealing with somebody or you got a crush on somebody or you got your eye on somebody who's only there because you're stroking their ego because they know you like them as much as you do okay or they are only around for some type of i don't want to say sinister but just it felt like an ill intent it didn't feel like they were there because they feel how you feel. They were there because, ooh, girl, I got him in the palm of my hand. Look how he acted about me. Ooh, I got her. I didn't, she know what's up. She ain't going away. Like that. You know, like that. So, but that not with this person. This person is a beautiful challenge. A delicious connection you have with one another, okay? I'm not going to pull any more cards. If you resonate with this reading, Ashe, I'm glad. I would love for you, for you guys to comment if you'd like or give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. But Capricorn, listen, never the first. Okay, never the first person. Sometimes you do got to go on and mm, move on to the second person to really get what you deserve, right? Because I, I, I just knew that this person that you was crushing on, I could feel it. I could feel it in the energy. I could feel it that, that, that they were not they were not that one, okay? They were going to take advantage of that energy that you were exuding about them, okay? All right, Capricorn, peace, peace.